hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new oh did that not focus then i don't know but hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome um today's video as you can see from the title i don't know where to go with the lighting today like i just don't know just don't know but anyways and um, welcome back to my channel if you're new here excuse my crazy hair i'm it's a saturday we're in quarantine i really don't care how i look anyway um as you can see for today's title we'll be doing another decluttering video i wanted to get all the decluttering over and done with um it's been like two weeks now two three weeks now and i just wanted to do it in stages which you guys have been loving so as you can see for today's title i'm sorry if you can hear my family they're really really loud um i am going to be doing my concealers primers and powders all in one i didn't want to separate them if i can't do the powders in this video i will do them in a separate video however which will be a really quick one however because i do have quite a few primers and concealers so i'll try and fit in the powders if i can if not i will do a separate video i reason why i wanted to do all three of them was because i didn't have as many powders as like for a full massive like video satisfying type video so yeah if i can i can if i can't then i'll split it split it in half like maybe a part two so yeah if you want to see how i what i declutter and me organizing it then please keep on watching okay so this right here is my primer and a concealer drawer i originally want to start putting my primers and concealers in this drawer as well because obviously this if you previously watched was my foundation drawers but i was able to put them all in one drawer um now i'm going to move on to as i said concealers and pow concealers and powders concealers and primers and then also we are going to move on to the powders that i have in this why is there a foundation in there but okay um a lot of you were saying to me about how I didn't mention um, some like other bronzers that I have um, in like my bronzer one or like in my foundation one. Reason being is because sometimes I'll declutter this drawer and I'll find foundations in a completely other drawer that I've forgotten about. So yeah, so this is all of my powders. I'm going to try and see if maybe I should just do this as a separate video. If I don't, then I don't. If I do, then I do. Okay, so this is, I should have done this from the start. Oh my God, why didn't I think of this little setup? So this is my concealers and a powders drawer if I bring you a little bit more down maybe that will help is that all right there yes yeah, so we'll do that excuse the mess i'm going to give it all a clean and um, so yeah i'm just going to go one by one i'm going to put the stuff that i'm not keeping probably just anywhere and whatnot and then i'll put what i ke am keeping in somewhere else um so yeah i'm just going to grab each by each i'm not going to like separate concealers to primers etc i'm just going to do it as i would normally like if i was organizing so the first one that we have here is the emua pro brace um brace pro base banana blur primer i'm keeping this this is amazing it's nearly finished i think this is really really affordable i think it's between three to five pounds it's absolutely amazing i love it so 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 much um it definitely blurs out my pores it's probably like a really cheap version for like the touch of silk canvas or like you know the blurring primers probably the best blurring primer out there like forget benefit i love benefit but forget benefit forget toucher this is amazing so definitely keeping this one also we have the pro base moisturizing prime which is lovely this goes so so well with their foundation which is right here if you have normal skin or you have dry skin and you wanted to try this foundation which is five pounds please use the moisturizing primer with it or something hydrating or moisturizing just because i don't really like this foundation without this primer or without a hydrating primer i use the blurring primer to pour my blur my pores and then i use this one to hydrate and moisturize um but yeah i can't use this by itself i could not just use that um just because it's so drying and so not drying but so 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 heavily matte um this is very much like an estate i've not used i've only used estate lord once um and it was hella full coverage and really like drying on my face and really matte this was a very very similar type so yeah i really really hope they come out with like a luminous version of this because this would be amazing um so yeah, I'm definitely keeping this one. Have the high, I'm just, this is going to be so hard to get rid of concealers and pa um, primers. So this is the Revolution Hydrate and Prime Primer. Um, this is amazing. So this is another really, really great one. I think I have a just amount, a little bit left. So I am just going to keep this just for the sake of finishing it. Um, I do love, love, love using this. Um, great primer if you really want to hydrate and you have dry skin and you want to use a matte foundation. This is a great one to use. Um, we then have this guy right here, which is the Superfruits Extract Antioxidant Primer by Revolution Skincare. Um, to be honest, I'm probably not going to use this again. It's lovely has a gorgeous smell. If I want to use it again, then I'll probably purchase it. But I just don't see myself reaching it for it enough. So I am going to excitedly get rid of this one. 
We then have this guy right here, which is the Physician's Formula Soft Spotlight Illuminating Primer. Um, again, to be honest, I'm probably going to gift this to a friend just because I do not see myself reaching for this again, to be honest. Um, it was nice. I remember me using this in the tutorial. Like Physician's Formula. Oh, have I used this yet? I don't even know. Physician's Formula is a lovely brand. However, they don't really cater to what I like. Um, so I am sadly going to be getting rid of this one. We then have these primers by Laura Mercier. I have all of these i think in double as well um so i'm never like i gave the um the spf one i have spf one in my skincare and i used the spf one gave to my mum also but i have most of the laura mercier primers right here the new ones absolutely going to keep all of them so we have the perfecting one we have the illuminating one the blurring one the another blurring one <laughs> and the and the hydrating one so i will be keeping all of these we then have this guy right here which oh we then have this guy right here which is the rents clean skincare perfecting camera this is the clean primer um i think i've used this once and i think i did actually like it i really really do like ren so i will be keeping this one just to use a little bit more in my like my skincare and my routines this guy right here which is the fenty beauty um true matte pro filter primer um i am going to keep this this is barely being used i think this uses once or twice i these most of these products were kind of gifted to me um but yeah, I am definitely keeping this because I want to use it more. I've seen so many people hype up about this. So yeah, keeping that one. We then have the NARS Pore and Shine Control Primer. This is a great, another great pore primer. Obviously, of course, I would always say to you go for the cheaper alternative. But this is a great one if you want to treat yourself. It comes with a decent amount of product as well. So 30 milliliters of product. Last two years, which is great. Um, so yeah, keeping that one. I know I'm keeping a lot of stuff, people, but yeah. Um, we then have this guy right here, which I'm definitely keeping. I tried this for the first time. I've used this once, and it made my skin look so incredible. This is the Smashbox Vitamin Glow Primer. Um, this was vitamin B, C, and E. Um, this gave a gorgeous glow to my skin. Like, you can wear this alone, or you can wear it under the foundation for, like, more of a hydrated, healthy glow. This is stunning. I'm going to be keeping this one. Um, we then have the Revlon Rose, Gal Rose Glow um, Hydrating Illuminating primer hydrating and illuminating primer i am going to keep this um i did actually like it the couple of times that i used it and i like sort of like revlon sometimes revlon products are a little bit hit or miss but i'm going to be keeping this one we then have this nude by nature perfecting primer and um, this guy right here i think this was a sample size in a qvc box i'm not going to keep this um i've never used it no i've never used it. it's brand new um it's dirty but i think i've had it for quite a while so i will be passing this on Another favourite of mine, which I need to use more because I it's so expensive and most of these products are quite expensive, like primers can be quite dear. Um, I want to hold on to this as long as possible. But this right here, this only has a six month. Are you serious? A six month life? Like shelf life? That's, that's ridiculous. This is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. I'm going to probably be using this more before it expires, but yeah. We then have this guy right here, which is the Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. This is the smaller version of like, I think this is the holiday edition. Again, I'm keeping this one. Um, oh, this beauty right here. So this is the Illamasqua Hydrovel primer this is magnificent magnificent i'm definitely keeping this primer right here we have this guy i feel like i'm keeping all my primers and this guy right here is the elf poreless putty primer um another one of my favorites also this is definitely the hype like i get why people are so crazy about this this definitely blurs my pores so keeping this one then we have the star primer by revolution this is the water gel primer soft focus primer hydrating water gel um I don't know about this one. I don't know if I'll keep it. Um, to be honest, I don't really see myself keeping it. So I don't know. I'll put this in my I don't know pile up here. We then have this guy, which is the Memi or Memi Perfecting Radiance Primer. Um, I don't know if I've used this yet. I don't know. I can't actually remember. I think I have because it feels greasy. Um, what kind of texture is this i might give this to my friend or my mum i'm not too sure but yeah i, I don't really see myself I've, I've only reached this for once i think when i was um oh this is dermatologically, dermatologically tested for sensitive skin so it might be great for you guys but yeah i'll probably pass this on to a friend then we have this guy right here which sort of started to act really weird I've had this for quite a long time now. This is the Flomma Double Radiance Primer. This is amazing. I'm so sad that I'm going to have to let this go. It's just starting to... I know you can... I've shaked it for quite a while. And I, it's just not... 
it so i will be getting rid of this one sadly this is the this is great though this is really really amazing i love 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 this primer we then have this guy right here which is the elf jelly pop dewy primer i need to put this in the front of my drawer because i keep forgetting to use this it's great i love their like watermelon collection i did a review on these so i will be keeping this one then we have this guy right here which is the revolution glass why has it done that i shake it so this is the Revolution Glass Liquid Skin Primer. I'll be keeping this. I did actually like this collection. This was really, really nice. Um, so yeah, we'll be keeping this one. I have here the Pixie by Petra um, Flawless Beauty Primer. I've used this once, I think. Don't remember grabbing, gravitating towards it again. It doesn't look like it has insane amount of product in there. I don't see myself gravitating towards this again, so this is gonna go to a friend. Okay, so funnily enough, we actually have um, another one of the Smashbox Blur ones. So I'm going to probably be... I don't know if I should keep both of them. I'll keep both of them just because they're sample smart sizes. I do have a bigger version, which I've had for actually, I think, about four years now. And yeah, I've got to get rid of this. This I did actually purchase this for Depop and it was like half empty. So that's great. Another Smashbox primer. This is the Oil and Shine Control. I'm going to start using this in the summer, so this is a great one to hang on to. Um, we also have the MUA one, which I was looking for the other day when I did my full face of MUA. This is the MUA Priming Oil with Gold Flakes. I'm going to keep this because I want to use this more and like, it's really satisfying to look at if you look at all the gold flakes in there. Love that. Um, we have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is the Primer and Moisturiser in one. I'm going to keep this as the sample size, which I'll be keeping. Um, we have here the Professional by Benefit. I need to use this more, I think, because this was such a big thing back in the day. I, I think it's like, okay, it's old news now, but I know people still love to use this, so I'm going to be using this more. However, I don't feel as if it blurs my pores as much as this guy, so maybe you want to save your money? I don't know. Um, we then have this guy right here, which is the Rimmel Stain Matte Primer. I'm not going to keep this. Um, I was not a fan of this matte collection at all. I saw like Rita, like there's barely anything in there. Like this is all air. But um, I saw Rita Aura advertised it and I was like, okay, looks great. Got it. No. Um, we then have all these sachets, which I shall be keeping. Um, these are the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I really want to try the Magic Cream. Like, I just want to have it in my life. Um, so, yeah, these are all going to go in my foundation drawer just because they mix well with foundations. And um, what other primers do we have? We have this bad boy, which I am keeping, which is the Milk Blur Stick. Keeping that one. Um, great one. We have here one that I bought from TK Maxx. It's the Everlasting Poreless Primer Perfecta by Becca. Um, I'm going to put this at the front of my drawer because I need to use this. I got it from TK Maxx, so I don't know how... <laughs> but i've used this once and i was a huge fan of it we then have this guy right here which is the flora mattifying makeup primer i'm going to keep this just because i did get rid of my other flora primer because i don't know yeah because it started to separate um so i'm going to keep this one but this does the total opposite to what that one does that one was more of illuminating but this one is not this i will say this one is a very much a huge dupe for the um nymph by Huda beauty if you want that this is great we then have this one right here fine nip and fab the primer essence i want to know more what this does like i feel as if a lot of products these days don't have the information on the back or around the bottle so yeah i'm going to keep this just because i do really really like this one we have this guy right here which is tiny like absolutely tiny I, this is a full size one as well this is the foria um or Fora, Fora, um, all matte pore invisible face primer. I remember I worked with them and I was highly, highly impressed. Their concealer, which I'll go show you in a minute, is literally the dupe for the NARS creamy concealer. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one just because I've, I haven't touched it since. Um, so yeah. We then have this is the spray, is it? supposed to be anyway um i love 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 this stuff so this is another primer and moisturizer in one i have two of these because they're sm small i keep them both I have this guy right here which is the bella pierre hd makeup primer this is the flawless finish one i'm probably going to get rid of this actually no i'm going to keep this one just because i want to have it in my collection it lasts quite a long time so yeah 
and I think the last primer that is in this drawer that I no, there's another one. Um, this is the Onyx Onyx primer by um, Revolution. I don't really get it i don't really think it does what it says it's supposed to do on me i've seen it work on other people but just not on me so yeah i'm going to be getting rid of this one and then lastly we have this guy right here which is the wet and wild mega jelly primer i'm not sure what this is actually meant to do um i don't know if i've actually used this yet i don't know i think it might be a dupe for like the um hydra veil by ilamasca so i'm going to keep this one and i'm going to test it for you guys to let you know what my thoughts are on it so yeah i'm going to keep that one um for the time be oh we have primers in here also um so we have i don't know why i put this in my primer drawer but Huda uses it to prime. This is the Aphrodite or Aphrodite, yeah, Aphrodite Huda Beauty Nymph. I'm, of course, I'm going to be keeping that, and I am going to be keeping this one right here, which is the Glass Skin Primer. I don't really get the two. I don't know why there's two different ones, to be honest. Um, don't really get it, but I prefer using this one over the other one. So yeah, this one, this one gives me the Glass Skin vibes. This one and the Liquid Skin, the serum is basically just an oil. So yeah. What I'm going to do for the time being is just put all my primers in the ones I'm keeping in this drawer um, just so that I've got space to sort out my concealers. Um, so first of all we have this guy right here which is the Conceal and Hydrate in the CA. Of course I'm keeping this great coverage, never going to let it go. Um, we then have this guy which is exactly a dupe for, where are you? Where, where are you? Have I lost you? Oh my god, no, it's here. Um, same product size, same packaging, same everything. Um, this is the dupe for it. The same coverage, same consistency, same colour. This one is in mustard. No, this was mustard. This one's in custard by NARS and then this one is in beige. Um, so yeah, I use those and their dupes so i'm keeping both of them and i also have quite a few of the nars ones i feel i have another one and i think another one yes yeah, so i have three currently um so bad of me isn't it but i don't want to run out of these these were all gifted because i am on the nars pr list so yeah we then have this guy what has happened to that whoa can you see that look at that like what the frick is that i know that's gonna be gonna be like oh my god it's oil but that just looks dodgy and it feels like it's all the concealers just like bunged up in there so that is gonna go because i do have another one so i'm just gonna get rid of this for now just i wasn't impressed with this concealer either like i was so mad over the two-in-one foundation but that's my chair by the way i was so mad over the two-in-one foundation by um, milani but this was not it at all so yeah that's going we next have this amazing concealer which i completely forgot about in my drawer which is why i'm doing a clear out because i need to stop forgetting about these things um this is the locket um concealer i got this in the shade neutral this is amazing full coverage af like full coverage af doesn't crease blends out beautifully you can even leave it on the skin for a while and it won't dry down it is gorgeous love it for all skin types um we then have this one which i'm going to keep and i know i've actually like dissed it not dissed this but had a few things to say about this it's not what i thought it would be um the only time i'll ever get heavy, co heavy coverage from it is either if i apply it and then let it sit for a while which then means it dries down and then doesn't want to blend or i apply so many layers but yeah this is very much a light concealer for me and i don't really have problematic under eyes um, so yeah this is a really not a great concealer for me probably the worst product I've had out of Fenty's line because I've always loved her products but yeah this guy I am going to keep just so I can just use up and whatnot because I did spend quite a little bit of money on this and I don't want to throw it away and there is plenty of product left um, but and also I don't hate it it's just not what the claims are in my opinion we then have this guy which is the NYX um, HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. I've had this for so long, I think this is finished. Um, I literally feel this is, yeah, this is literally inside, it's gone. Um, so I know people are gonna say you can take the little thingy out. I do often with these, but I tend to put them back in sometimes, especially when I'm throwing them away. But yeah, I am getting rid of this one. 
We then have here, which is the Wet n Wild um, Concealer con Corrector. I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't like this concealer. Again, I think I said in my foundation review, I didn't like their foundation. It smelled like paint. It applied like paint. It sat like paint. Um, so, yeah, this is similar. It just isn't it. Like, I think at the time, I feel as if, like, three years ago, full coverage concealers and foundations were different to how full coverage concealers and foundations are now. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one just because I don't really get the point of it in my collection. I've not touched it. In forever we then have the benefit boing or boy boing cakeless concealer this is superb this is beautiful from benefit this is probably my favorite ever um benefit product besides from their brows and their bronzer i love 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 this product it's so good so full coverage i love the whole packaging idea as well benefits packaging is always like it's very like 60s 70s vibes in my opinion or maybe 80s one of the three um but yeah i love all of it um so yeah keeping that here are these two concealers by iconic london these are really really nice i was so excited to work with them um, and i was really ifing and umming and ahhing about the coverage because i was wondering i was like oh my god it's seamless it's probably going to be really light coverage probably not going to enjoy it but if you want this isn't going to give you heavy duty coverage but it's a lovely medium coverage that i don't really find a lot in the market um i do feel as if you just want an everyday um, concealer and you don't want to wear foundation and you just want a very natural face but want to cover your under eyes conceal your imperfections but not look as if you're wearing concealer then this is amazing sits on the skin beautifully i use both shades um beige and fawn so these are two beautiful ones i do have them in contour as well which is amazing and i have all the other shades but yeah i am going to be gifting the other shades to the friends that don't fit for me so yeah keeping these Two that I'll be getting rid of. I bought both of these and I was truly gutted with them, to be honest. I think maybe it's because I bought the wrong shade. Um, this is the L'Oreal Infallible. I might keep this one for contouring because I did actually like this one for contouring, just not this shade, which was in Honey. Was it in Honey? No, Cashmere. This one's in Honey, yeah. Um, so this is the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. I think I reviewed this. I'm not sure if I did, but if I did, then you probably know my thoughts if you've watched that. I didn't like it. I thought it was very much like Tarte heart shaped tape it just dried oh it just dried down super super quick um the shade was way too light for me so that's probably why i didn't like it if it was more my tone then i'd probably like it but i did like the it for contouring it's the same as these guys right here with camo concealer um i don't like it at all it's very these two are very very similar in terms of because i got the wrong shade and i actually can't find my shade in this one um you're going to be like oh but how did you find it in the hydrating version i don't know why either like um this one's in medium beige and this one also is in medium beige oh this is in light beige but light beige seems a little bit dark well yeah light beige seems a little bit darker than medium beige in this one it's more my tone this is more beige this is very pink um so yeah um i wasn't a fan of this at all it dried down heavily matte um was there no there was no coverage for this at all i felt um i don't really see the hype of it both of these so these are both going but i'm going to keep the bronzer one and put it in my bronze drawer right now i'm going to be keeping the hydrating one this is amazing like this is my favorite concealer right now drugstore wise it's gorgeous sits on the skin beautifully amazing <laughs> I lost the lid to this but I'm going to hold on to it because I've literally nearly just finished this this is the overachiever concealer by Huda Beauty I'm in the shade I think it was toasted coconuts I think it's toasted coconuts I'm not sure please remind me I think it was toasted coconuts but yeah I know I lost the lid it's probably not hygienic I know. I have these guys, these two guys here, which is the Laura Mercier um, Flawless Fusion. I have this in a darker shade, which is 4N. This was kindly sent to me how it was in the wrong shade. Um, this is sort of my bronzing shade. And this one right here is in 3N, which I bought myself for £31. This is the only concealer shade that is £31 out of the whole line, like the whole shade. I don't know why Laura Mercier do this. Um, especially in House of Fraser. Um, I, I think this is in John Lewis, actually. I think it might have been in John Lewis. Um, yeah, it was John Lewis. I went in there and I bought this concealer and I thought it was the original price and she, and then I paid for it because I didn't actually look because I didn't think I had to. And then I looked and it was £31. I was like, I'm not paying that. And she was like, oh, um, yeah, this particular shade because it's in high demand. Um, 
they've put up the price it's like well why why do I have to pay more because I'm a certain skin tone? It's wrong. Um, so, yeah. We then have this guy right here, which is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. I'm going to keep this. I got the shade Natural. Um, it's not my favourite. Again, I don't really gravitate towards it enough. But, yeah, it's, it's, I like it anyway, so I will be keeping this. I have this guy right here, which is amazing. And this is the Milk Flex Concealer. Great concealer. I absolutely love this. Full coverage, I'd say, like, medium to full. It's definitely not full. It's definitely not medium. It's medium to full. You can just sort of, like, get medium sometimes and then get full. So, yeah, I am going to be keeping this one. You guys would have seen in my recent video. Oh, I have more of these, actually. Okay. Um, so, we have here the um, Emiway Pro Base Concealers. I have three of these. I only probably need two. This one looks too pink, so I'm going to throw this away and keep these two. I didn't even know I had 150, which is probably why I kept the other two, because I needed to mix them to get the perfect shade, but it seems as if 150 is the great one. I'm going to also keep 142, because it's sort of like that beigey tone rather than a pink tone, so yeah, keeping both of these. These are really, really super affordable as well. Um, they're quite nice coverage. Originally, if you apply these and then straight away blend them, you blend away the coverage, but if you let them sit on your under eyes for a little while, they're great, and they actually give you full coverage, which I was amazed at my favorite concealer probably drugstore wise um the barry m one um i this the logo has rubbed off of the front this is the all night long full coverage concealer i got the shade three cookie i will be getting more of this this is amazing love this super affordable i think it's like four pounds love it then we have the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. I don't know if this is a concealer, guys, you know. Like, this is a medium warm. I don't know if this is a concealer, is it? What does it do? But I use it as a concealer, and I don't really like stick concealers. But this is the only stick concealer that my face can take. And it's lovely. It's beautiful on the skin. And um, so, yeah. And surprisingly, I think when they sent this to me, I think I got it from a different brand, actually, or a different, like, company. And I was really scared that it wasn't going to fit right, but it did. This guy, which is the Maybelline Instant Eraser Eye. I got this in too much of a dark shade in terms of I got it as my skin tone rather than a brightening shade. So obviously I've got to use this on my days where I'm just not wearing any makeup and I want to conceal. But this is lovely conceal because the coverage is perfect. Obsessed. Another one that I've used, and I like this because this has SPF in. This is the Derma Blend, um, V Derma Blend. Is it V Derma Blend? Um, SOS cover stick. This literally is a lifesaver. Again, this is the only probably other stick other than the Bare Minerals one that will suit my under eyes. Um, so that is great and it's great at concealing like dark circles, like pigmentation, acne marks, etc. Another great concealer is the, what is this? The Illamasqua Skin Based Concealer Pen. I love this. Um, uh, Illamasqua skin products are probably the primer, the foundation and the concealer. I haven't tried the powder yet. The, found, the, 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 the foundation, the primer and the concealer is probably like my three trio. Like in terms of if there was to be three products that would work together perfectly. It's these. They mastered this skin base. So yeah, I like this pen as well. I got the shade M1. It's lovely. We then have all of these concealers by Sleek. I don't need all of them, but weirdly, oh my god, I actually didn't realise I had this many. But weirdly, we have all of them, and I don't need all of them. Um, so this I'm not keeping. This hasn't even been opened, so it's going to be gifted. Um, this has been opened. Yeah, I'm going to keep this one. Um, the concealer is it's nice. It's not hugely my favourite. Um, it is nice, so I am going to keep this one. This is in the shade 03. Um, I'm going to keep that one. I am not going to keep the banana shade because I don't see a need for it. I'm also not going to keep the banished blue shade because I don't really have pigmentation marks. So these are going to go to a better home. Um, I also am not going to keep creamy... Co cocoa because i'm not going to keep creamy cocoa because that's too dark for me um i am not going to keep eight hazelnut because that is also too dark for me um i am i might keep this one which is the ditch dark circles because i do sometimes have a little bit of dark circles and um also for my instagram video so i'm going to keep that and then lastly we have this one which is 06 um I am going to keep this just because this seems pretty decent for my shade. So I'm going to keep that one. We then have... Now I had all of these. And again, I had to like sample them down because they were not my favourite. Um, I am not a fan of the Nip and Fab concealers at all. They don't sit right on my skin at all. Um, 
I don't know what it is. I'm going to keep these only for a full face. Actually, no, because I threw away the foundation as well, because that, again, I was not a fan of. So I'm going to get rid of all of these. I don't like these at all. I feel as if, like, the coverage isn't there. They're very watery. But also, when you, when, when you blend them under, under under eyes and you want to set them, they never set. Like, these will crease for days, and they literally just are so wet. On This, this formula is so wet that it does never sets on my under eyes and so many people have found that but yeah it's not my favorite concealer it's probably one of my concealers i'll probably never use again so yeah sadly gonna get rid of these then we have the morphe concealer which i have finished but I'm, i think i've got maybe one or two uses left in this and i'm going to use it for a full face look so yeah i'm gonna keep this one lovely coverage though very very lovely coverage you can see i heavily use this but it's very matte it's very very matte like the foundation the Last Imperfecting Concealer by Collection. I'm going to keep this just because I like it for my eyeshadow looks and things like that. But it is mashed up so badly. So, yeah. Um, we are then, I think we've got three left, people. Three left. We have here the Fit Me Concealer by Maybelline. This I've had for about, since it came out. And this is only a six-month concealer. So, I'm definitely getting rid of this one. Look at how atrocious that looks. So, yeah. Great concealer, though. I think that concealer there is probably the only one that I've bought multiple times out of all of my collection. I think I might have bought that maybe like eight times uh, because it's so affordable. And then lastly, we have here the Rimmel Lasting Matte Concealer. Um, I never use it and it's too dark for me. So yeah, this has got to go. Just peeking through. So here is the Cover FX um, Power Play. Now, this is a funny story to it. When I first used this, I didn't get the hype because I know Amreezy was using this and she was going crazy for it and her under eyes looked unreal. So I purchased it and it just wasn't it. It had no cup, not no coverage. It had very minimal coverage. Didn't look nice on my under eyes. So I was going to give it away. And then I don't know why I just held on to it for a while. And then I used it again sorry i'm moving it everywhere i used it again and it was beautiful underneath my under eyes i was like whoa how does my brain work i don't know so yeah keeping this one great coverage is really quick it is quite expensive though for what you get and i do like the doe foot because it's like a ball so you can really like roll it onto the under eyes so yeah keeping this one okay so here we have the two drawers i thought originally i was going to put them all into one drawer but i thought for the now time being i am going to be getting rid of my alex drawer soon just because i want to get the wardrobe you know the wardrobe storage just because i feel as if i'll need one of those wardrobe storage and it will fit everything in it i'm really trying to narrow down like and get rid of as much as possible um so yeah this is my now new primer drawer um i'm quite happy with what we decluttered i'll show you what we do decluttered in a minute but yeah i'm quite happy obviously this goes all the way back so i have got some primers back there so that's the primer drawer and then here we have the concealers which i'm really really proud of again i have so much more space now so i can literally just open take what i need and then yeah so i did try to make sure that i narrowed down on as um and got rid of as many concealers as possible just because i didn't need that many um i still feel like this is too much i said as if i don't need this many concealers but you know like sorry for my organization skills i know people are going to bug me and say, i know people are going to be bugged by this and say oh hannah you need to have them I'm sorry <laughs> i'm sorry but yeah um so yeah i'm really really happy with what we decluttered now we're going to move on to powders i feel as if we might have enough time to do oh my god there's a few little primers back there hey hello i i knew i i felt as if this was missing that is a great primer I'm definitely keeping that one okay so this is my lovely powder drawer um we do have quite a few originally when i first started out on my collection and um, like when i first did started doing blogging and that i literally had maybe one and then i grew to where i shared my concealer drawer with my powder drawer and then this just got too much so i had to have it as own drawer oh ow money i'm just gonna randomly start and start picking things out so here we have the mua um pro base full coverage matte press powder i like this it's definitely you can tell it's an affordable powder it doesn't have that luxurious feel however um i love it for my eyeshadow videos especially just to set the under eye because i don't if i'm doing an eyeshadow video and then i'm literally going to wipe it off i don't want to spend and don't want to use a 39 pound powder if you get what i mean so yeah i'm going to keep this we next have the cover effects powder now i have had this for years and um, this is just a travel size and again i have over half of this left i use this all the time but i've had this for way too long now and i'm not going to touch it again so i'm going to get rid of this one um 
I'd always advise, especially for luxury powders, buy the travel size because then they actually don't tend to, like, I never seem to finish a powder. Um, so yeah, I next have the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, this OG right here. I am not the biggest fan of this, like, I don't see the hype, like, it's nice, it's lovely, it sets the under eye beautifully, however, it doesn't hold, it only holds for the, its own concealer, I feel, that, like, for ages. If I was to put something like the Huda Beauty Concealer, because the Huda Beauty Concealer is so overpowering, this doesn't seem to set it as well um but i still like it anywho and i'm not throwing this away because i spent good money on this we then have this amazing powder right here which is so underrated this is the beauty bakey flower better but better not bitter um setting powder this is in the yellow shade this is amazing um i absolutely love absolutely absolutely love this formula it's not too too yellow but it's the perfect amount for my skin tone especially because i kind of find that yellow powders can be really hard for my skin tone great price point great setting powder i would highly recommend then we have this bad boy. I'm going to recycle this box because I don't need it. Um, this is the I Heart Revolution Banana Powder. This is amazing. This is probably the best drugstore powder, setting powder, like loose setting powder I've ever come across in my life. Um, it is amazing. Great at setting the under eyes. Beautiful finish. Stays on forever. I even prefer this over my Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, look what we found. Again, another product that's not meant to be in the straw. So again, I'm keeping this one. I was wondering where that went. But yeah, so this guy I'm definitely keeping. We then have, I know this is excessive, but I am on their PR list, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Setting Powders. I'm going to be keeping these for three shades. I did give away the two other shades that I have, the deepest shades, because obviously they're not going to fit my skin tone. But these three will. This is in Banana, which I'm currently using. We have Translucent and we do have Vanilla. Um, I'm going to keep these because these are absolutely amazing. I use them on a daily basis. This you can, I can definitely tell that I've used this one a lot because there's a slight weight difference I'm starting to feel now, so I can tell that I've been using this so much but yeah at least i've got two more to go through after this one finishes but the banana shade is gorgeous so yeah i love this we then have another one from this brand which i not a lot of people know about this is the furia furia no filter setting powder i enjoyed this but again i don't really go towards it too much it's not really something i gravitate towards so, so sadly i will be getting rid of this This beauty right here, which I need to use more, now that I'm sorting everything out, I'm going to. This is the Milk Blur and Set Setting Powder. This was great from what I knew. I have so much product in here, so I need to use this again. But yeah, great. I use this near enough every single day and this powder never ever 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 wants to go down look how much powder is in here this is the Huda Beauty um, sugar cookie powder it's my favorite 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 I use this so much so much beautiful powder favorite on the market I think probably the best powder out there love it oh another concealer that we have here okay this was the one that I was looking for from sleek so I'm gonna keep this one um, yeah i have here an oldie but a goodie and it's literally on its ends meet like it's on its end meet and i'm going to be getting rid of this because i've had this for years now and it's so affordable that i can get it again this is the collection sheer loose powder um, i'm going to mention this on my story in just a minute i'm probably going to do a story on this i rave i used to rave about this so so much it's such an incredible powder it's definitely so similar to the laura mercier powder it's just insane i love how it sits on my under eyes it's gorgeous it's super affordable i'd highly recommend getting this sadly mine has to go because i've had it for years now I had this way before I even started makeup. You know, when you just have makeup when you first started out makeup, and even before you started out makeup, you just had random things in your mum's room or whatnot, and that they've just been there for years. This is that product that I never touched, never knew what it did. Okay, so carrying on, we have powder everywhere. Um, we have next the Too Faced Born This Way um, Eternal Setting Powder. This is the travel size version because again, I don't really feel you need the big version. Um, but yeah, I like this. It's not as crazy as what people hyped it up to be at the time. So I am like glad I didn't get the full size because I probably won't use the full size. But I do like this powder. So I will be keeping it and hanging on to it just because I want to. I want to, man. So this is absolutely filthy. But this is the OPV Beauty London Translucent Setting Powder. I haven't used this enough, really. Um, I haven't really seen too many reviews on this powder. So I am going to try it more in my videos because it is a brand that i really really like especially the eyeshadow palettes so yeah i'm going to keep this one 
We then have these two, which I'm debating on which one to keep, to be honest, because I don't really need both of them. Um, this one's a really, so these are the Flormart Invisible, oh, this is the Invisible Loose Powder, this is the Normal Loose Powder. One's in beige, beige sand, which is actually really pink in real life, but in camera it's coming off really beige, but it's not, it's really pink. And then we have here the Invisible Translucent, which actually doesn't leave a white cast. I don't know which one I'm actually going to choose to keep, to be honest. I might just keep both of them, just because I, I know, I remember in my videos, I do mix these, so I'm going to keep both of them. We then have these guys which have not even been opened yet and I don't think I will open them. I think I have, I think my mum has these as well so I am going to just probably take from her but these are the Nip and Fab um, setting powders. I'm going to gift these to a better home. So yeah, I, I haven't tried this yet so I wouldn't know. We then have this gorgeous one right here which is the Revolution Pro um, CC Perfect Press Powder, lovely powder um, as you would have seen from my review, lovely packaging, gorgeous luxury packaging so keeping that one. Of course we have my beautiful Charlotte Tilbury, I know it's broken several times so that's why it looks a hot mess, um, my Flawless Airbrush Powder, stunning powder right here, never ever getting rid of this ever in my life, love it. We then have this beauty, which I'm going to get rid of because I haven't touched it since the review. You can see it looks fresh. Um, this is the uh, matte base powder in P1. I don't know why I bought it in P1, but I wanted it as a setting powder, but I'm not going to use this again. So, yeah. Another one we're getting rid of because I don't see why Revolution has so many powders. Again, I'm not going to say it anymore. Um, I do feel like Revolution have so many of the same product, but that just, that's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes it's to do with different price points. But yeah, this is the Bacon Blot Powder. This did absolutely nothing for my skin over time. Um, I don't really feel... It's one of those powders like you want to touch up. Like if you go out somewhere for the evening and you want to just touch up your setting powder... Um, then you can use something like this but I don't really go out enough in makeup to keep this sort of thing like I don't really have that occasion where I'll go into a bathroom and be like oh my god I need to fix up on my makeup take the powder out so I'm going to get rid of this one I just found my favorite eye brush so that's where my eye brushes have been sorry next we have the elf halo glow setting powder now this is very much a luminous setting powder um it definitely isn't mattifying so sometimes if you this would be great if if you have dry under eyes and you use a matte concealer and you just want to make sure that it's not looking too dry but if you're wearing a really dewy coverage foundation foundation concealer for example like the hydrated one by elf it is lovely together however it does start to crease over time not the concealer but the powder because it doesn't hold the concealer that well over time um so i would only use this with a matte one i'm sorry if you can hear my neighbors the dogs barking love the doggies please don't hate on them <laughs> We then have the Fenty Beauty setting powder, and I probably my setting powder is probably my favourite thing in makeup, just because they last forever. Um, I use this quite often. You can see there's quite a lot of powder left. Um, this is the Butter Pro Filter um, powder in yeah in butter. Um, this is definitely a butter shade. I love this. Um, it's not my favourite setting powder of all time, but it is a powder that I really really love, and I love the packaging of, and I take it everywhere with me because it's so cute. So yeah, keeping this one. This guy right here, which I'm keeping because I haven't used it enough yet. This is the Moolak um, Seal the Deal White Setting Powder. Um, I've not used this as of yet. Oh, I have. Okay, I have. Clearly I have. I don't know what my thoughts are were on it. I just use so many products over time I tend to forget. But yeah, I think I enjoyed using this. I don't know. I'm going to use it more and then give you my thoughts. We then have this guy, which is the LA Girl Banana Yellow. Have I used this? I just don't know. I can't remember because they tend to just go in the back of my drawer. I have used this. You know what? I don't really have too many drugstore powders. So I will be keeping this one because I do like loose setting powders. And I, I want to know what my thoughts are on this a little bit more. Again, like I said, this is in Banana Yellow. So I'm going to keep this one. I'm keeping way too many things, but hey-ho. A dupe for the... Not dupe, but because they're normally around the same price, but I feel as if the same formula, in a sense. This is the Jouer um, Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder in Light. Stunning powder. I like my loose powders. I'm starting, I like my pressed powders. I'm starting to really, really like them before. I was like, no, they're not going to do anything for my under eyes, but this is a lovely, lovely one. I really want to try the Jouer Bronzer, so I'm hoping to get that. I'm putting them up there because I don't want them to drop, and then, psh, um, We then have this, this is Sexy Mama The Balm. The balm are very like non 
modest um this is the anti-shine from translucent powder i'm only going to keep this i don't actually enjoy this too much i only actually like to use this again like the MUA one for my eyeshadow looks just to pat a little bit of powder underneath the eyes when i've done my eyeshadow so anytime you see my under eyes in my eyeshadow tutorials i'm literally just using either this powder or the MUA one um just because like i said i'm not going to waste a 39 pound powder on an eyeshadow look to just be wiped off so yeah great little things so even if guys if you've got crap powders and you want to do start doing eyeshadow looks and you just feel like you don't have the equipment you do because just use a crap powder not that this is crap no not that this is rubbish just because i'm just not a huge fan of it because it is a little bit patchy on the thing and it doesn't set as nicely we're down to the last three this is a it cosmetics cc cream uh, the tester that i finished so that's going to in the recycling bin that's going to go in the recycling bin and um, we have here the nyx can't stop won't stop setting powder i'm going to keep this great powder and um, definitely if you are heavily oily this would be great for you um so yeah, i'm going to keep that one my jaw is hurting from how much i'm talking and um, we then have the la go pro face set uh, this is the pressed one i'm not going to keep this because does that one come up as well i don't know no i'm not going to keep this one just because i might i'm going to give this to my mum actually um she likes her pressed powders so that's going to go to my mum and then lastly we have one right here which i'm so highly in love with that i try to not use it as much this is actually more of a foundation powder yeah this is the powder foundation by um kat von d i'm probably going to put this in my foundation drawer because you know the days we don't want to wear foundation but you want to wear foundation but then you don't want to wear foundation and you would just want to wear concealer with a little bit of powder i'm going to go with this one this is in the shade tan it is a little bit dark I mean, no, it's actually pretty much my skin tone, so I love that. So we're going to keep in that. Okay, so yeah, this is my setting powder drawer. Everything fit in there nicely. I can just grab these two when I'm doing my eyeshadow looks. We did declutter quite a bit of products, which are both over there and there. So I'm quite happy about that. I didn't declutter everything that I wanted to. I did think I, maybe I was going to declutter a bit more, but I actually am looking at this and going, I will actually use these products. If you're looking, I don't really look too oily. It's actually my natural glowy skin. Um... I am feeling a little bit, I think it's the vitamin C serum that I use, I use the super facialist one and that is gorgeous, like if you want this like glow, my skin just looks a little bit more plump, a little bit more glowy, a little bit more hydrated, this is definitely for you. Yeah, um, my skin is looking lovely. Um, so yeah, I really really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please give this video a massive thumbs up for me, I'd love that. I am going to be doing next, I think the last set which is my lippies which is going to be a long one i think this might be a long one also um but yeah if you really if you enjoyed this video please give this video a massive thumbs up it means the world to me if you want me to sort out my skincare section let me know because i'd love to do like a skincare declutter as well um but yeah i love you all thank you so much for watching this video and i shall see you in my next one bye